Hello, in this video we'll use Python tools for Visual Studio to create a simple polls application with the Bottle web framework. It will store its data in Azure Table Storage and the application will be hosted on Microsoft Azure website. I'll be using Visual Studio 2013, PTVS 2.1 including the samples v6, Azure Tools for VS 2013 and Python 3.4. We'll start by creating a new project using one of the samples. Project templates for the samples are installed under Python samples. We'll use Poles Bottle Web Project. We'll pick the option to install the external packages used by the application into a virtual environment. We'll keep the default name and select Python 3.4 as the base interpreter. The option to download and install packages is checked, which means that PTVS will pip install the packages in the requirements.txt once the virtual env is created. Let's make sure the application works. We'll start debugging. By default, the application uses an in-memory repository to store its polls. We can create sample polls and vote on them, but all of the data will be lost when we start the application. Let's create sample polls and vote a few times to see the application in action. Next, we'll create a storage account to use Azure Table Storage. In the Azure Management Portal, click New, Data Services, Storage, Quick Create, enter a name, and select a region, then click Create. When the storage account is created, we can view the access keys used to connect to the storage. We'll save the value of the primary access key for later. We'll now configure the application to use Azure Table Storage instead of the default in-memory repository. The application gets its configuration from environment variables, which we can define in the project properties or in the Windows Control Panel. The debug server command settings are used when you start the application with debugging. The run server command settings are used when you start without debugging. Let's set the values to connect to Azure Table Storage. And we'll paste the access key that we got earlier. and we can now debug the application again and this time it's using Azure Table Storage repository. Let's create sample polls in the table storage and vote a few times. With the Azure Tools for Visual Studio, you can browse the services you have available for your Azure subscription from Visual Studio Server Explorer. You can browse Azure storage such as blobs, tables, and queues. You can also create or delete tables. You can perform queries on tables and view the results. You can also add, delete, or edit entities. 
These features can be very useful when working with projects that use Azure Table Storage, and it's free as part of the Azure SDK for .NET. Let's look at how to deploy this application to Microsoft Azure. Select Publish. Select Microsoft Azure Websites. I'll click to create a new site. Enter a name. Select a region. Click Create. In the next page, there are two options of special interest. You can choose which configuration you want to publish. If you want to use remote debugging, you'll need to publish the debug configuration. Under File Publish Options, there's an option to remove additional files at destination. If you keep publishing different apps to the same website, you'll want to check this option to make sure there are no leftover files from the previous apps. We'll accept the default and click Publish. And when it's done publishing, the website will open automatically in your browser. The application is now running in an Azure website. If you look at the About page, you'll notice it's using the in-memory repository. That's because we need to set the environment variables for the website. In the Management Portal, we'll browse to the website we created. In the Configure page, we can set app settings, which are available to the app as environment variables. We'll set the same values we set in the project properties. Don't forget to save your changes. We'll restart and then browse. It's now using Azure Table Storage. There we have it. Our bottle application is deployed to an Azure website and is using Azure Table Storage. Thanks for watching.